Good morning everyone! Today is the day of my oat taking for naturalization. I'm here with my husband. Hey. So yeah, we're be, we will be on the way to the USCIS and see you there. Bye! This is how the ceremony room looks like inside. The lady sitting down with a floral top is the officer who conducted our oath taking ceremony. When I arrived, she asked for the oath taking notice that I received from the mail. Then she checked if I already fill up and signed the page 4 of the form. Then she asked me for my green cards. Then she asked me to get a copy of Oath of Allegiance in this paper that says congratulations on becoming a U.S. citizen. So this is after the outtaking ceremony outside the USCIS building. Some people, including me, are taking pictures because we don't have time to take pictures inside the building. And finally, I am now a U.S. citizen. The immigration process is long, but it's all worth it. So those are some of the clips and pictures during the day of my oath taking. But I want to give a more detail of what went through during my oath taking ceremony. As I mentioned on my previous video, my N400 interview was on April 18 of 2022. And two days after, on April 20, the status in my USCIS online account was changed to oath taking ceremony was scheduled and they will send me the, the notice through mail. So after a week, I received this notice. So it says, Notice of Naturalization Oath Ceremony. So it is four pages and on page three and four, you will fill up this part and then you will sign on page four. So in the notice, it says like, you are scheduled to appear for a naturalization oath ceremony on then the date and time and the location. And it also says, please bring the following with you. So it will be listed here the kind of documents or papers that you need to bring with you when you attend the oath taking ceremony. The schedule of my oath taking ceremony is 9 a.m. So we arrived there at around 8.30ish in the morning. In the notice, it says there that no one is allowed to come with me in the, in the ceremony room or ceremony hall. But I still try to ask the guard if my husband can come with me inside. But he said no because of limited space. So I went upstairs where the ceremony room is located and there's a, a lady there waiting and apparently ceremony. She's the officer who will do the oath taking ceremony. So she asked for my oath taking ceremony notice and then she checked if I already fill up the page 3 and 4 of the form. Page 3 is if you're using an interpreter during your oath taking and then page 4 is like an update of your life like after you, your interview so it's just a yes or no question like since your interview have you traveled outside the u.s and then you will sign it so i already uh fill up the yes or no question before arriving at the u.s cis office and i just sign it in front of the officer so she asked me to surrender all the green cards that i had that the USCIS issued to me for the past year. So I surrendered my combo card, which include my work authorization and my uh, advanced parole. And then my two year green card, my 10 year green card. So I, I, I surrendered those three cards. And then she asked me to get like a copy of the Oath of Allegiance, which is in the table and the paper that says like, like congratulations on becoming a U.S. citizen and it's also listed there wh what you need to do after you become a U.S. citizen. Then I sat down and we waited for the rest to arrive who are scheduled for oath taking that day. Then when everyone was there, the officer uh, introduced herself and she gave a speech, just a short speech mainly about the rights of becoming a U.S. citizen and what you can do after you become a US citizen, including applying for U.S. passport, 
and updating your social security number so things like that then she asked us to stand up and he she did the oath of allegiance and then after that it's done then she distributed the naturalization certificate and that's it that's what happened during my oath taking ceremony it's very short it only lasted like 10 to 15 minutes the only thing that made it longer because we waited for everybody to arrive and so when you do your own oath taking ceremony in the future make sure that you will not be late and that you bring with you the oath taking notice that you receive from the mail and you fill up and sign the page four of the form you can do it before you arrive at the US CIS office or you can do it there and don't forget your green card because you will surrender it to the officer before you receive your naturalization certificate and that's all and if you have questions please please put it in the comment below and I will try my best to answer it based on my experience. Thank you again for watching. Bye!